हेलो गाइस दिस इज तीर्थ शंकर दास एंड दिस इज माय फर्स्ट कमेंट्री पेंटिंग वीडियो आई वांट टू अपोलॉजाइज टू एवरी व्यूअर्स दैट आई फॉरवर्ड टू टर्न ऑन माय कैमरा सो so i missed the initial stage of this painting well the colors used in this first tone are uh, indian yellow uh, and pine gray i have used indian yellow but you people should use ochre yellow because the original painting of alvaro castagnet he he has used ochre yellow well i have made a few mistakes in this painting i mean in the very initial stage i have made a few mistakes which i'm trying to Uh, which i'm trying to rectify let's find out how it turns out i, I am spraying with uh, my spray gun now i am trying to uh, make the shape of that uh, that uh, that architectural structure of moscow and i am using a uh, pine gray this is wet on wet technique the paper is already wet in which i am trying to make illusion of that yeah, of of those uh, those architectures of moscow I'm using the same color the pine's gray but in different I mean in different uh, value well i'm using just pigment with uh, with less amount of water because the paper is already wet and now 
I'm going to paint the architectural structure of the right side, right side of the painting, of the original painting of Alvaro Castagnet. The color is, uh, the color which I've, uh, for, I, I have just used is Bonsina. I need to use all uh, other colors because this is not the original color. I have to make, I have to try different colors unless and until I reach the exact color. I have to keep mixing other colors. This is lavender I used on Bonsina. This is Crimson Lake. This is this is lavender again. Now the grey. Now uh, it's. Yet I haven't been able to reach, I mean, I haven't been able to get the actual color. I still have to mix some colors. This is, now it is perfect. This is uh, this is pines grey or neutral tint. Now this is perfect. Now the color is like the original painting. Well, while painting the paintings of Alvaro Castagnet or while you are trying to learn his style you should always mix your colors on the paper you will find him advising to instead of mixing colors on the palette you should Mix your colors on the paper. Because that gives extraordinary shades and depth which is impossible to achieve if you mix colors on your palette instead of mixing it on the papers. Now darker value of uh, of pines grey. Just trying to Just trying to give an elusive shape with darker value. Well, I am having very less amount of water in my brush.
if you want to uh, paint like alvaro castagnet it is very yes it is very it is uh, it is necessary that you should try his paintings unless and until you paint his paintings you will you will never understand you will never experience what difficulties or what he has f- experienced while painting his masterpiece you will only understand his paintings if you try his paintings well that was dry brush stroke and the color which i am using is the pines gray the same color or the neutral tint and i'm trying to trying to make the dry brush strokes perfect it's very easy to uh, have good dry brush strokes on rough pages i mean if your handmade paper is rough it's you will uh, you will get dynamic uh, you will get dynamic dry brush strokes my paper is not very rough to get the perfect dry brush strokes two things are very essential the uh, the first thing is uh, no the three things are very essential the first thing is the quality of color you are using the color should be very soft it should not be sticky the next thing the second thing which is essential that is the paper the paper should be very rough then only you will get perfect dry brush stroke and the third thing which is immaterial but you may or may not bother the third thing is the quality of your painting brush the painting brush should be very soft like squirrel hair the organic squirrel hair my i mean the natural squirrel hair raffle raffle mop brush or uh, yes i am using raffle mop brush which is an extraordinary painting brush watercolor painting brush so these th- three things are very essential for perfect dry brush strokes so now now i am trying to uh, paint that figure of the man with an umbrella which you will see in alvaro's painting the original painting Well, I have been you uh, are practicing Alvaro's painting since 
since November 2015. Yes. His paintings has changed my life. I mean, his color theory, his uh, his philosophy to uh, to uh, the painting. Everything is extraordinary, and he has changed my life. Whatever I am earning from this profession, that is because of him. From the very childhood, I I I, I was fond of watercolor painting. but i couldn't manage dark colors unless i i i mean until i saw his paintings i have learned how to manage colors uh, how to use dark colors how to paint perfectly i mean the imperfect beauty of i mean the perfect beauty of imperfect paintings i have learned from alvaro castagnet and i am indebted to him for this remarkable change in my life Well this is a limited palette painting Very few colors are used Pines gray Indian yellow Bonsina Ivory black Orange and uh, crimson lake few shades of blue i have used cobalt blue and uh, and lavender well actually i i do not use lavender alvaro castagnet use lavender but i make lavender myself use chinese white and ultramarine blue to make lavender so these two figures the elusive figures of men crossing the road with an umbrella in the left side i have used uh, a gray using Bonsina, lavender, and pines grey. These three colors I have used. Now the windows I am making that I made. Uh, I mean, I applied. I applied uh, pines grey. <coughs>
now this color is ivory black now I'm using black to increase the contrast of this painting it's very necessary to use black colors I mean the different shades of black lamp black ivory black whichever you like you can use to increase the contrast of the painting pines gray is basically a very cool color which can be used as warm color as well but black is black black is perfect to increase the contrast this is ivory black now I am applying water You should always uh, use spray gun to make the hard edges blur. Now these are the lamp post. Well, that is a needle brush I'm using. This is ivory black I am using, very less amount of water. I am applying spray gun, I mean I just I just wait those 
ages. This is lavender I am using, I mean the color which I have made. I am using, uh, I have used ultramarine blue and Chinese white to get this color. Now the proportion is up to you. You should keep using, I mean keep mixing these colors, I mean the maximum should be the Ultramain blue 75% ultramain blue and 25% Chinese white that is orange I have used orange color to make the face I mean the skin color in the original painting, Alvaro used Bansina as skin color. But this orange is looking beautiful in this dark those are rough brush strokes I mean haphazardly I am applying now I am losing that portion I mean I need to remove color from that portion that is an extraordinary effect which can be obtained in such manner you just need to wet that surface first and then remove that color with a paper towel This technique, this technique gives a v extraordinary effect in your painting. Well, I am trying to darken that, I mean darken that car, not perfectly but just trying to give it a shape of a car. Now the lines on the road these lines takes us into in into the painting these lines help 
our eyes to travel into the painting these lines are very essential it's a rainy day painting i mean so the most of the things are blur and wet so the reflections should not be perfect it should be blur and keep on wet your painting because this will gives uh, an extraordinary feel an extraordinary depth an extraordinary feel of uh, of a rainy day let the colors travel because that is the beauty of watercolor now these are the lamp posts which are the most essential objects of a street scene well the color i am using is uh, is ivory black for maximum impact i mean the for maximum contrast i am using ivory black i never hesitate to use black because using black colors are i mean i love using black colors i love to use dark colors that is the reason why i love alvaro castagnetti's paintings this electricity wires the tram wires
Well, I'm removing the color <coughs> between the between that pole. I mean, between the two poles, which by mistake. It was joined by mistake. Those two are two different separate poles. Now it's looking perfect. Well, now it's it is time to highlight. Now I am using Chinese white to highlight and to show the reflections of light and the, those are the backlights of car. Sorry those are the front lights of car and its reflection in Chinese white. That is to suggest the umbrella. Thank you. 
that is i just applied some chinese white that is i done to increase the depth and to show the distance wires are white when the background is darker now the orange marks i mean the signals this orange color in dark background looks extraordinary So this is the end of my demonstration of Alvaro's painting. I hope you people have liked it. Please subscribe my channel.
प्लीज शेयर माय वीडियो थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग द नेक्स्ट वीडियो विल बी अपलोडेड सून थैंक यू वेरी मच